it's like nitrous times infinity. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one here, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Seven off Eerowid. When this happened, 2002, the drug used was air duster at a dose of three balloons. The route administration was through inhalation, gender, male, weight, 150 pounds. Prior experience includes nitrous oxide and cannabis, and the setting was at his house. So here we are doing an air duster report. I knew one day we would uh, eventually get here, and here we are. We did have an air duster report, I believe just two reports ago. So here's a report of it on its own. So I think you guys will like this one, and without further ado, let's dive right into it. A very long time ago, I told myself that I'd never do any drug besides weed. Weed made me happy, weed was relatively easily attainable, and I thought I'd never have the need for anything more than that. I was wrong. I am now in my second semester of college, and I'm just starting my experimental phase. And the current thing I'm experimenting with is inhalants. Yeah, I know this is bad, and especially after the inhalant of which this report is concerned with, I fully plan to stop as soon as I can, because I have a feeling that it's probably pretty bad for both my brain and body. But man, these things are fun. Anyway, I've tried nitrous whippets, my fave, and a couple other things, but I just read earlier today that the canned air computer dusters can be used to get fucked up. I will warn you that as nitrous is my fave and probably the most popular, I will be comparing the effects of the duster to those of nitrous just because that is the only thing that even comes close to it that I've done. So I tried it out to my local Circuit City and obtained a can of Interact brand Air Blaster. It was about $8 including tax. If it matters, the chemical component section of the label says 1112 tetrafluorothane with a Cas number of 811.97.2, whatever that means. Today's search for inhalants was started because my entire CD book thingy was stolen sometime last night about 40 to 50 CDs that I've collected over several years. Needless to say, I was pretty pissed and wanted something to raise my spirits. Being out of nitrous and low on funds, I decided to try the duster thing. So I went out, purchased it, and came directly home. Not wanting to freeze my lungs, as had been mentioned in a couple other reports, I just used my trusty nitrous balloon to inhale from. I filled it with about the same amount of duster stuff as normally comes out of a whippet, so I could see the difference in effects from roughly the same dosage of each. Using the same method as I use nitrous, exhale completely, then inhale the balloon slowly and hold my breath as long as possible, I huffed the duster from the balloon, and the results were absolutely breathtaking. As I was breathing it in, I noticed a very faint burning sensation in my throat and it tasted faintly like the way rubbing alcohol smells. Then the effects started hitting me. They came on faster and harder than nitrous ever had. Everything in my field of vision started getting bright, flashy spots all over it. Everything looked like I was looking at it on a TV, with the contrast turned way up. White things were way lighter, dark things were way darker. The music I was listening to seemed to come from a very long ways away, even though the speakers are right behind my head. Every sound and movement was kind of echoey and vibratey, just like nitrous, but it was so much more intense. In one person's nitrous report, they compared this effect to helicopters. Yeah, that is a pretty accurate portrayal, but it sounded like I had an entire army of helicopters coming from inside my head. Then, everything started spinning and flying as if I was underwater doing an infinite number of backflips, and that is the last definite separate effect that I remember. It was just a combination of the flashy lights and echoes slash vibrations and falling slash falling forwards and all sounds coming from a million miles away. And it stayed like that for at least two or three minutes, much, much longer than nitrous. Finally, I started to come down with all the effects gradually subsiding. I did two more balloons of the same amount after that, total three balloons within about 15 minutes. It is now about an hour after I did the last one. Things still feel kinda not right occasionally, but it's nothing to be really worried about, I hope. My eyes feel dry 
and like there's more pressure behind them than normal. Only a very minor headache that seems to be decreasing as I write this. And my throat slash lungs feel surprisingly normal considering how the stuff tasted and felt going down. I have no plans to do any more today, though I will probably eventually finish off the can with either myself or with a friend. And after that, I'm going to try very hard not to get any more and just go back to nitrous, since I'm sure this stuff is pretty evil in the long run. Okay, so here we are with Air Duster. Let's just start by breaking it down and explain how and why some people might use this. Now when we talk about getting high off Air Duster, normally you're most likely going to be in a fucked up situation where you really don't care how you get high, or possibly you're struck by curiosity, but even then, you'd probably turn to whippets or something are a much better alternative. Which I mean, for the large majority of people, including most drug users, they know better not to fuck around with air dusters that's made for computers and shit. Now, air dusters often contain different chemicals depending on brand and whatnot. Sometimes, there can be multiple ingredients that play a role. Now, Seven mentioned this particular brand contained 1112 tetrafluorothane, which a majority of the air dusters these days are from a chemical group called hydrofluorocarbons. Now typically, hydrofluorocarbons are used as refrigerants, in air conditioners, as cleaning solvents, even air dryers. This chemical group was made ideally to replace R12, or more commonly known as Freon, which definitely has some history of usage, especially in prisons. But Freon's much more environmentally harmful compared to the hydrofluorocarbons, and thus, that's why they've been aimed to be replaced. But even still, 1112 tetrafluorothane is still considered environmentally hazardous and a contributor to global warming. So I'm pretty sure that you can just gather from that, if this gas has global warming potential, you're most likely not meant to inhale any of it. Now normally if someone inhales this and overdoses, or if they're just suffering from abuse, it is common to asphyxiate, or pass from a lack of oxygen in your system. Now I'm not sure how much of a role each plays here, but it's likely that it isn't the chemical alone that causes the user to experience a high, but because inhaling such a gas can lead to you depleting the oxygen in your system, which in turn can cause a lightheaded feeling or a head rush. Now this may not necessarily be true for all air dusters, some dusters may contain another hydrofluorocarbon such as 1,1-difluorothane, which in turn has been reported more so as an intoxicant that can cause heart problems, not death from lack of oxygen. But regardless, deciding to inhale any of these is a recipe for disaster on your body and or mind. The high would most likely be psychologically addictive, and like I said, users are most likely going to end up doing it because they're desperate, which the scary part is how easily attainable it is at the end of the day. The high itself can lead to a pretty bizarre state that may be satisfying for someone, but at the end of the day, it's nowhere near worth it considering all the options there are out there. So if you guys want to hear more on air dusters or any inhalants or any substance at all, let me know in the comments below and we'll get to that. If you guys did enjoy this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow the socials, it's been someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.